The Marlboro Music Association is at it again, wrapping gifts for customers at the mall. This helps both shoppers and music students. It kind of works out great for everybody because like tonight we had a couple of men stop by and they said, I can deal with the little packages, I can't deal with the big ones. <laughs> so, you know, it's nice to see them that, you know, we're kind of helping them out a little bit. And at the same time, all the proceeds go to the Melbourne Music Association and they do great things. They help the kids like go to festivals, they help them to um, do instrument repairs and lessons and it's a really good program. Solomon Pond Mall has been working with the Music Association for years. You know, it's a great partnership the mall gets to have with the high school and the music department. It's all volunteers. It's the parents and the students who come down here and rap on the weekends, and all of the proceeds goes right back into the music association. Mosca explains why she thinks it's important to keep music in the schools. Both my sons are, they love music. I have one son that's going to college at Berkeley, and my older son is actually, um, he graduated from college and he's teaching music and they both, you know, it's a huge part of their lives. And the Marlboro program was really good because the kids are really interested in it. They have great teachers, they have great support system. Hennessy says shoppers tend to come last minute to get their gifts wrapped. Especially last minute shoppers who maybe don't have the time to wrap, um, you know, the especially on the weekends and nights as you get closer to the 24th of December. Um, there's quite a line and um, the parents and the volunteers do a great job of kind of queuing everybody up and letting them know it's going to take me about 15-20 minutes. Sometimes they grab something in the food court and come back. The charity gift wrap will be at the Solomon Pond Mall through the month of December.